Meanwhile, California has a medical pot crackdown in upscale Santa Barbara. Uh, what's going on here is they're cracking down on the medical marijuana supply chain, these different dispensaries that have certainly been controversial. But really, overall, this is a Tenth Amendment issue. Californians, love them or hate them, have voted to okay these dispensaries. Their laws uphold these things, and yet you've got the feds leading the crackdowns on them, and they coerce a number of the local and state authorities to go along with their crackdowns. The moves on Santa Barbara storefronts and cultivation facilities mark the fourth such sweep in recent months in the seven county California region that ranks as the largest federal law enforcement district in the nation and on and on. And that's just to discourage overall states moving to allow for medical marijuana or for decriminalizing its use and on and on. And who, what, who, how many people has marijuana killed? I believe the official statistics are still zero. Meanwhile, how many people have been killed just in police raids busting people who supposedly have marijuana or other drugs? I'm sure the number is far greater. Just yesterday, I know Alex covered this article, UCSD students five-day ordeal in a DEA jail sparks outrage. He was allegedly part of an ecstasy distribution ring and may have had to deal with other drugs and weapons, according to this article. Uh, he was forgotten by a DEA agent and left in a cell for five days, had to drink his own urine to survive. That's how lawless these prisons are and this larger war on drugs, just showing some of the hypocrisy there. Meanwhile, a bit of upbeat news or downbeat, depending on how you look at it, it's nothing short of incredible what the Ron Paul campaign and especially his grassroots supporters have achieved despite the total media blackout on Ron Paul, despite the regurgitated meme that he can't win, won't win, despite all the disowning from inside the Republican Party, still activists are winning delegates on the local, state, and eventually the national level in many, many, many caucus states. And now they are clearly concerned about what's going to happen in Nevada. A very odd state for the Ron Paul vote since he didn't get even 1% more votes than he got in 2008, even though he grew in popularity all across the country, even though Nevada is known for its libertarian base, it was known for overwhelmingly supporting Ron Paul. He didn't get even one more of the popular votes there. Now they're trying to block, as they did previously, the delegate action in favor of Ron Paul there. And they are saying that the entire delegate base from Nevada may be blocked from attending the national convention. I believe it is highly likely that any committee with jurisdiction over the matter would find improper any challenge to the election, selection, allocation, or binding of delegates, thus jeopardizing the seating of Nevada's entire delegation of the national convention, said John R. Phillip Jr., the chief counsel for the RNC, in a letter obtained by the Las Vegas Sun, showing their intention to block the delegation in hopes that it would stop any kind of mass Ron Paul movement there. Meanwhile, the head of Ron Paul's campaign in Nevada, Carl Bunce rebutted all this, saying the strategy is well within the rules. It's ridiculous. It's nothing more than a veiled threat, according to Bunce, who went on to say you can't come in seventh inning and say we're going to change the rules here. The Romney campaign advisor has come in and give you a loyalty test on who you support before you can go to bat. This is tyranny. If you can come in and change the rules whenever you want, that's not a republic. That's tyranny. Well, I got bad news for you, Bunt. The entire political party structure is part of the tyranny. We weren't supposed to have political parties in this country. They're not American. They work against our democratic traditions. They weaken our republic. We're not supposed to be loyal to these political parties. I think it's great what the Ron Paul delegates have achieved thus far in so many states. I hope they continue their efforts. They should not stop short of total chaos, of course, nonviolent, peaceful chaos. At the Republican convention, there's nothing to back with Mitt Romney. He's just an Obama light. He pushed for the same health care system. He also signed the anti, uh, <coughs> excuse me, he also signed the anti-assault weapons bans things in Massachusetts and so many other platform positions. The Ron Paul people should voice their displeasure with the same old candidates, the same old tired, false opponents inside this party system and back Ron Paul all the way. Our country's going down the tubes anyway. At that point, I will bring you to our quote of the day. It's from Dwight D. Eisenhower, when from his inaugural speech in 1953, 
Americans, indeed, all freemen, remember that in the final choice, a soldier's pack is not so heavy a burden as a prisoner's chains. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Now, we're going to go to break. We're going to come back with not one, but two Hoppy Heidelberg interviews, the key uh, juror for the grand jury in the Oklahoma City bombing investigation. He's been on before. We're going to play those for you now. Incredible, powerful information. Don't miss it. And don't forget to watch, but also share with your friends, family, and contact a noble lie exposing the larger picture of the Oklahoma City bombing. And don't forget to support us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Your subscribership helps fund our operation, and you're getting the word out. Help us, helps us turn things around in this country. Thank you and good night. We'll be back again next week. Have you been to InfoWarsShop.com lately? Express your inner patriot with these brand new InfoWars t-shirts. Say it loud with the InfoWars bullhorn shirt. Or educate the sheeple with the Bill of Rights shirt. Grope the public's mind with the TSA shirt. And with this shirt, you can let the dark side know of the Rebel Alliance's power. All available at InfoWarsShop.com sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die start purifying your water with pro pure my friends i've done a lot of research and the best gravity filter out there bar none is pro pure and it's available discounted at infowars.com its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth there's no priming required it's nsf 42 certified optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95 percent easy to set up and use does doesn't require electricity. Purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. Thank you.